you know, swim spa. No air code, not heating up. Push the button. Jets work. Okay, all work. Blower. not heating up so this is a Balboa spa pack there's two of them in here because it's separated so one's on one side one's on the other so this one here it's not heating so let's figure out why take the two screws at the top off okay, cover to the side so the first thing you're gonna do, your hot tub's not heating, is test the power coming in. Right there, the leads. So we'll test all those. And if you have power coming in, then do a vi visual check of the green board, the circuit board. And normally, yeah, right there. Normally be around those relays. You can see how it's discolored on the one Try not to touch anything, but I've unplugged it already. This is from yesterday, but this is how you test it. So see how it's all discolored there, right there? And then if you compare it to the other one, it's not as bad. But our leads were all melted on the left side. You know, on the board, you can see it on the corner, up on the side there. So the connection, there it looks like right there. We couldn't see it because everything's all together and this was plugged in. What causes that? Mm, not sure, maybe it wasn't plugged in all the way and was just arcing. But everything else is working. The pumps are working, everything else is working. So right there, that's the problem. Now, we gotta replace this whole, either replace the board or replace the pack. Today we're gonna place the whole pack. I'll show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do first is you turn the power off. So, like I said, this swim spa has two packs. So this is the one we're gonna turn off. So we gotta make sure it's off. So, power's off, the water's in it. We don't want to drain it, so we're going to have to turn that knife out. Normally, I never touch those knife valves. If you've seen my other videos, I don't like touching knife valves because they always stick down. But everything's hot right now, so if I do it quick enough, it uh, might not swell up with it down. So we're going to disconnect that. So we gotta we got to disconnect the power. we got to shut these valves off and then disconnect all that. So what you do is you take a whole bunch of pictures. See where all these wires going in? No pump one, pump two. If you have to mark them, mark them. Okay, if you're unsure, here we have two of them, right? Two with red wire. Normally there's just one and then I know where it goes. Here we have three, actually three pumps. So here there's a tag on it, but most of them tags will be off. So just mark them when you take them off. Just take some duct tape and that's pump one. And all the information's on the back of the, the board. So where it's positioned, make sure that that's what you're putting it back. So for example, right there, that shows us that one. So it's that one there. It's just so mark it as that on your on your duct tape. Okay, or just take a bunch of pictures. But again, pictures won't help you if you don't know one or two where they go. So tagging them is pretty good. The knife valves are shut. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect, undo these screws here, take some pictures and mark them all off where everything goes. Then we're gonna disconnect the power and then we gotta disconnect all the grounds. Again, take pictures so you know exactly where everything goes back. 
So everything got disconnected. We put the new pack in. So you can open up the knife valves, it's just the C before you plug everything back in. Make sure you got those gaskets in right because it can be hard to get in there. So open those up, make sure those are snug, you don't have to over tighten it. Make sure it's not dripping and then check again um, once you turn everything on, all on so it's under pressure. So we're gonna plug everything all back in. This pack's a little bit different so um, you just gotta watch the schematics in the back. So all the leads you took off the old one, you just gotta match it up to the new one. So this pack's slightly different, so we just gotta plug it in the right spot. So everything's all back together. We've got the power, everything's all plugged in. So what we gotta do now is, we're gonna use their top side, which is a digital keypad. Your keypad might be different. So you gotta follow the back of the, the cover. Here's these pins right there. There's pins right there. And then oh, there we go. And then you gotta follow along here. Just read that. And look at your old one too, see what that says. So what we gotta do is we're gonna put it in test mode. So we gotta move the pin, we gotta put it up. And then we got to program it. So you got to go over to the chart, the setup chart, and you just look at what you have. So here you go, you have all the stuff in a row, and you just follow down here. Like if you have a circ pump, you just follow these. So if you got two speed pump, two speed pump, none, none, whatever, just there's a list of things. And then you got to put in this number here, the setup number. And I'll show you on the top side how to do that. Now again, your top side might be different. So what I'm gonna do on the keypad here, it's digital, so it's a slightly different. You're gonna to have to find out the combinations of buttons. Sometimes you have to push jet and light, depends on what kind of keypad you have. So you're gonna to have to either look it online or find uh, a dealer that deals with, uh, that knows Balboa and ask them what the combination is on your top side. So we're gonna to have to turn the power off again. Now they've changed these packs where they're easier to, to see. They put it all in black. Normally it's red. So I guess the new packs, it's all black. So the far one here is test. So you're gonna push that up. So you're gonna push that up, so it's test. And so now we can turn the power back on and then we'll go to the keypad. So power's back on and So this is the keypad I have. I don't know if you can see. So we're gonna have to go use these buttons over here. Push it. You look for the menu here. Okay, there's the menu. So use the arrow buttons. So we're gonna go down to test. Now, if we didn't put that pin there, this right here, the test, wouldn't be here, okay? So we're gonna get it on test, click it. That's what we have. So on the chart, it's 17. So you gotta go over, use the arrows, and then I want the 17. So if you were changing it, whatever that setup number was, you click on it. Oh, come back down again. Then you gotta go over, click on it, go over, and then I can go up or down. Once you get on it, so I want 17, I click the middle to set it. Good. Then go over to that, click it, and there we go. So we're going to go back. So it's on Celsius, he's changed it over to Celsius. 
we gotta turn the pin back down so we gotta turn the power off again. So turn the power off again. Go back to the pin. We're gonna put that pin back down. There you go, back down. Then you just put the lid, the cover back on and you're good to go. Now, if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button down below. If I missed something in the video, let me know and we'll figure it out. Okay, and then we'll see you on the next one.